The J31 prototype appeared at Zhuhai in 2014, but disappeared for some time thereafter, with some analysts saying the program was dead. Now it is re-emerging in a vastly upgraded form. China's highly evolved J-31 stealth fighter makes its first flight. Now that aircraft which features substantial upgrades in its low observable shaping and manufacturing quality has flown for the first time, as evidenced by the photos in this video. Not only could an operational J-31 help fill the ranks of PLA Air Force medium and light fighter squadrons, but it could also be adapted for China's emerging Katobar aircraft carrier program. This would give China a stealthy fighter that can project power far from the Chinese mainland. If this redesign proves fruitful, it's all but guaranteed China will move to export the J-31 to anyone with the cash to buy it. Many countries either can't afford, or are not allowed to buy, the Lockheed Martin F-35 from the US. These nations could turn to China and the J-31 to provide them with a poor man's joint strike fighter. Pakistan in particular is a very ripe candidate to join the J-31 program early on especially as new aircraft join the Indian Air Force's fleet, including the PAC-FA based on Russia's stealthy T-50 fighter. China's defense policies underscore its commitment to self-reliance and the relentless pursuit of advanced technology, aiming to reduce dependence on foreign sources. The country's defense industry, a critical component of its national strategy, is one of the largest and most advanced in the world. It is a testament to China's significant investments in military modernization and technological innovation, which have bolstered its military might and global influence. The roots of China's defense industry can be traced back to the 1950s when the People's Republic of China was established. Over the decades, it has evolved from focusing on basic weaponry to a more sophisticated and diversified military production capability with a strong emphasis on advanced technology. The industry is primarily state-owned and heavily regulated by the Chinese government. The military aviation sector is part of China's broader defense industry and is critical for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. China's military aviation industry has rapidly evolved over the past few decades, reflecting its growing emphasis on modernizing its armed forces and enhancing its defense capabilities. The industry focuses on producing a range of military aircraft, including fighter jets, transport planes, helicopters, and unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. The Chinese military has undertaken extensive modernization efforts, including developing advanced fighter jets Chengdu J-20 and J-31 fifth-generation stealth fighters. The FC-31 appeared for the first time over four years ago, and the fact that already moved from YF configuration to a near-production configuration is telling. It shows how committed China is to developing multiple stealth fighters as part of a high-low capability mix, and to take a larger share of the fighter export market abroad. The J-31 is one of three light to medium-weight stealthy fighters being developed indigenously in the region. Japan and Korea are the other two countries taking on such endeavors, and both are also F-35 customers. They will likely end up with designs that will be similar to what the F-35 would have been like without the F-35B's damning STOVL requirements. That mired the jet's design and specifically its aerodynamics. How stealthy an airframe and how advanced China's J-31 sensor fusion and avionics suite will be is unknown. But even a 70% solution alternative to the F-35 that costs 40% of Lockheed Martin's price is an enticing proposition, as quantity has a quality all its own. Since the first J-31 demonstrator, the design of the aircraft has been refined, with the next prototype exhibiting a number of changes. Then the focus apparently switched to the carrier-based J-35 variant, which again introduced new features, some of them obviously dictated by its role. The dramatic modernization of all branches of the PLA often gives the impression of limitless funds and resources for advanced new equipment. While the strides made by the Chinese military do indicate deep pockets, there remains an argument for a less costly fighter that can be procured in greater numbers, and which is less expensive to operate. The J-31 could fit that bill, while still offering significant advantages over earlier equipment.
Developing advanced fighter aircraft engines is crucial for China's military modernization efforts. As tensions rise in the Asia-Pacific region, the ability to produce competitive engines will play a vital role in enhancing China's defense capabilities. China is likely to increase its investment in R&D to improve its engine technology further. The goal is to achieve greater self-sufficiency and enhance the performance of its fighter aircraft. The Aero Engine Corporation of China is a Chinese state-owned enterprise focused on developing, manufacturing, and servicing aircraft engines. It was officially established in August 2016 in response to China's growing need to develop its indigenous aero engine technology for military and civilian aircraft. China's struggles with fighter aircraft engine development have strategic implications, particularly in its military modernization efforts and aspirations to become a global aerospace leader. Achieving self-sufficiency in engine technology is crucial for ensuring operational independence and enhancing the capabilities of its air force. Continued efforts in this area will be essential for China to strengthen its military aviation capabilities and achieve its broader defense objectives. The dramatic modernization of all branches of the PLA often gives the impression of limitless funds and resources for advanced new equipment. While the strides made by the Chinese military do indicate deep pockets, there remains an argument for a less costly fighter that can be procured in greater numbers and which is less expensive to operate. The J-31 could fit that bill, while still offering significant advantages over earlier equipment. The opportunity to acquire a second stealth fighter, at a lower cost, would likely be attractive for the People's Liberation Army Air Force, as it continues its modernization drive. The exploration of next-generation technologies, including AI-driven engine management systems, adaptive cycle engines, and environmentally sustainable fuels, could shape the future of Chinese military aviation. The result would not be dissimilar to the planned U.S. Air Force fighter force structure.